Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick review for you of this G Sky 400mm telescope. As you can see here, this is the unit, and pretty much everything is either made out of metal or plastic. So uh, you can see here, this is uh, like really thick metal, a pretty thick steel. You have here a tripod that's also made out of stainless steel. This is the maximum height that you can have the tripod in. So the tripod can be folded up. You can use this place here to put a plate on it to uh, keep track of the uh, different accessory. So here's the spotting scope. Uh, one thing I didn't like about your spotting scope is that it actually falls out pretty easy. Uh, even though I tighten this uh, really tough, it still falls out. The idea is you're supposed to remove this when you're moving it around so that uh, this doesn't fall out. But you can just put it in there and uh, this, and they ask you to make it uh, sure it's balanced in the middle. So here is all the different uh, mounting mechanism. It comes pretty much installed. You just have to tighten this up and keep it in place. Uh, you have here the barrel and this is removable to have different adapter. Here is the 3X. Um, lens barrel and uh, this is one of the eyepiece here this is a 25 millimeter eyepiece and there's two other one uh, I found this one is the easiest to use has the biggest view and it's pretty easy to use this one so with this uh, telescope here you can use it uh, to you know bird watching you can use it to spy on people look at trees or birds or whatever and then you can also use this to look at the moon or the other night and uh, I was able to catch the moon pretty well uh, you get a full view of the moon especially on a uh, quarter moon or something like that you can see it's pretty well see the spot on the moon and everything it's pretty easy just use a spotting scope to get uh, you line up and then you just use this guy to take a look so it has a little lens cap here you can actually take this and look through that and if you want more light just uh, take this whole cover up if you don't want any distraction so as you can see here this is a uh, 400 millimeter at f5 you see keep this cap on to keep all the light from the outside from distracting but uh, at night you can just take this cap off so that's a pretty sturdy setup just rotate and loosen your snap and you can rotate around and when you get to the position you want just tighten this guy and it will keep it in place pretty well so here is the other two eyepiece that you get this is a 10 millimeter and this is a 5 millimeter and uh, they're pretty small these are pretty small to use I prefer to use the bigger size so here is the little center piece that you can put everything in I just had it in place here and then just also keep the tripod very steady the biggest problem I have with this telescope is just attachment here uh, I think uh, if you're looking at the moon for example if you're pointing the telescope up like this and you're looking at the moon uh, there's no adjustment here that you can uh, you know put the earpiece straight up here to look at it so you have to kind of bend over to look at the, ear, uh, the eyepiece here I wish uh, there's an, another attachment for you to easily see this but uh, usually when you're looking at the stars on the moon it's going to be pointing at the sky and then you're going to be looking at it uh, sideways so you have to bend over to look at this this is as high as the tripod will go uh, so if the tripod was a little bit higher that will also help but of course this is the highest it will go so finally you have just a knob here to uh, basically do some uh, manual focus you can do that right here slowly so just take your time and do that and it works pretty well uh, overall this telescope works pretty well uh, I think for the price it's a pretty nice quality telescope of course uh, you can uh, spend a little bit more to get the uh, you know computerized and stuff but this is the manual uh, version that you have to do everything yourself but uh, yeah the eyepiece works pretty good and I prefer the uh, again the 25 millimeter eyepiece that seem to be the best easy uh, working one for me so guys that's pretty much conclude my quick review of this G Sky telescope I hope it helped you in your project decision if you have any questions let me know in the comment below and as always stay tuned for future review thank you <music>